Welcome back, friends, to another weekly video. This week, I want to talk to you about something very controversial, the problem with holding gold and silver. So whenever there's a recession, the price of gold and silver tends to skyrocket. And right now, there's a lot of people uploading new videos to YouTube telling you to go out and buy gold and silver. And so I wanted to sit back and have this conversation that gold and silver is just like any other asset class. There are benefits to holding gold and silver, but there are also potential downsides. The best place to start this discussion about gold and silver is to look at the current price chart for gold. Gold has been up significantly since the stock market crashed in mid-February. As you can see, prices have skyrocketed, which has generated a great deal of excitement about gold and silver. The two top reasons most people give for holding gold and silver are, it allows you to diversify into different asset classes, and it protects against inflation. The main idea is that during a financial crisis, when all the different financial markets are going crazy, you can move some of your money into gold and silver as a way to hold its value. Historically, gold and silver are precious metals that have been seen as valuable throughout human history. But if you are holding gold and silver, you need to realize that there are some inherent problems with gold and silver. Gold and silver are commodities. Now, a lot of people think about gold and silver as similar to currencies, but they're not. Price movements in commodity markets are completely different than price movements in currency markets. Commodity markets are driven by supply and demand. Currency markets are also driven by supply and demand, but also by other factors like the economy and actions by the Federal Reserve. So commodity markets tend to be volatile because they are driven by supply and demand. This means that prices can go up and down very quickly. They tend to be more volatile than the currency market, more volatile than the bond market, and more volatile than the stock market. So if you are thinking of gold and silver as a safe haven, you need to be very careful here because the one thing we know about commodity markets is that they're volatile, that the price can go up and down. And just like investing in the stock market, you can lose all of your money. Now, I do think that there is a place in people's portfolios for gold and silver, but you have to be careful about the limitations of this asset class. On top of that, you should also be careful because there's a lot of these videos being uploaded to YouTube where people are telling you their opinions. And I think we have to be very clear about this because these are people's opinions about what might happen in the future. And if you're basing your financial decision on people's opinions, you just have to be very careful because if their opinions are wrong, you could lose a lot of money. So let's go through some of the statements that people are making. The U.S. Federal Reserve will create inflation by printing money to pay for U.S. stimulus programs. This is an opinion. What we're actually seeing right now is massive deflation as demand is lower due to the recession and prices are decreasing. Now, it is possible that inflation could happen in the future, but it is an opinion that inflation will spiral out of control. Growing U.S. debt and economic recession will cause the U.S. dollar to collapse. This is an opinion. If the U.S. does get into financial trouble, it is possible to make some pretty simple policy changes like increasing the retirement age for government programs. So if the U.S. were to increase the retirement age by just three years, that has a significant impact on financial projections. So it is an opinion that the U.S. would not be able to resolve any debt problems. Inflation of the U.S. dollar will force currencies to return to the gold standard. This is an opinion. The U.S. left the gold standard for the very reason we discussed earlier. Commodities are volatile, and there's a lot of problems with pegging a currency to something that's volatile. It is an opinion that the U.S. would tie their currency to the price of gold. 
Failure of the monetary system will cause the world to abandon the current central banks and move to a one-world currency, or Bitcoin. This is an opinion. The U.S. would be foolish to give up control of their own national currency. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but there's a lot of incentive for the U.S. not to join a world currency. So all of these statements are opinions on what might happen in the future. And so what people are doing is they're uploading these YouTube videos, they're giving you a dire prediction of the future, and then telling you to go out and buy gold. And you just need to be careful and realize when you're basing your financial decisions on somebody else's opinion. In a sense, this video is my own opinion. Because my opinion is that we exist in a very robust global currency system that's going to be able to work through any of the issues of this recession without collapsing the monetary system. And I think a lot of people forget what is happening inside the U.S. Federal Reserve. So the Federal Reserve is a team of very smart people and they are working to ensure that the U.S. dollar remains more attractive to investors than gold. So if you are buying gold right now on the opinion that gold is going to become more attractive than the U.S. dollar, you just have to realize that there is an entire army of people out there working towards the exact opposite outcome. So I hope this discussion about gold and silver was helpful in providing you a different perspective. And my whole goal here was just to encourage people to be very careful and thoughtful as they're making financial decisions. I'm Zach from Wolves and Finance. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go out and make some money.